So have you ever thought about what the future of your ride's gonna look like? Of course it's gonna be autonomous. The vehicle's gonna pick you up, take you where you wanna go, but you know, it doesn't have to be boring, right? So this gives you a glimpse into the future of what autonomous vehicles are gonna look like. So let's just start with this vehicle. What is up with this? This is a partnership between me and my, my one of my great friends, uh, Richard Patterson. He's an automobile designer as well. He designed uh, the, one of Tesla's first cars, and he was a part of the Fisker organization. Two, two real designers coming together to say, hey, listen, we can build uh, an affordable brand that can actually go to the market and actually compete with these guys in an in a alternative vehicle space, right, or the EV space. We don't like to say electric vehicle because there's a lot more than that, right? Autonomous vehicles are going to be one of those things that's going to be your normal everyday activity. You're not going to drive anymore because our customers are doing so many different things at all times. It's no longer a singularity complex of your thought, right? Yeah. It's everyone's doing multi-thread. Right. So the car has got to at least drive itself. This is an autonomous representation of, of what we're building. What it features is our hot swapping capabilities of the batteries. Unlike some of the other EV vehicles, those battery cells are, are so heavy that it wouldn't allow for a normal user to actually just change it out. It also kind of delays you at the pump or the charge. So now with our hot swapping ability, a driver will actually be able to go to one of our stations and in three minutes, hot swap out their batteries and continue on in their drive. Now this carries about a 348 mile. So I'm gonna stop you right there. So the yeah. hot swappable battery yeah. has 348 miles yes. in it right now. Right now, right now. And then you That's actually, impressive. yeah, and you have a and you have a cell that you're changing out that doesn't cost a, that doesn't have a hun, over 112 pounds, so just about anyone can actually change out the swap, right? Another thing that we're kind of featuring here is the air quality in the cabin. Okay, don't so, don't ever hear about this ever. Ever, right? I mean, even the big guys, the Ford, the GMs, a lot of us, when we speak about emissions, we're not really concerned about the N2O2 ratio that we're actually breathing, right? In-cabin air pressure and in-cabin in air quality is what we're focused on. So one of our patented technologies is air sterilization, how we disassociate volatile organic compounds inside of the air. And this is perfect for guys that's doing these rideshare companies and things of that nature. COVID just gave us all a scare, right? Your driver, that taxi cab driver, Uber or Lyft driver, could have been a person that's contaminating half of America because that air quality in the cabin wasn't sterilized. So that sanitation is what we're focused on. In every last one of our vehicles and some of the technologies that we're gonna to license to the bigs. Is this gonna be available sometime in the future or is this kind of a prototype right, we're looking at right be, now? This will be in production ready in 45 days, so we're already, this has been a development. Now, we've been building cars since 2014. We did the F1 race in 2014, took fourth place. And at, in 2014, picture this. We were one of those car companies, our first time in the entire automotive industry that didn't have to pit stop for getting the downloads of the vehicle, right? Because we did everything fly by wire and everything was delivered over wireless. And that was, at that time, I was the first to even feature getting updates from a car. That's before everything that I think, what is GM's OnStar? Yes. Yeah, OnStar wasn't doing that yet. I mean, you could actually, actually have them call, yeah. signal you emergency response on the side of the road, but it couldn't tell you what was going on in the car, right? So where do we sign up for the car? That'll be Jaeger. Now, Jaeger is the car company that we're gonna be going out to the market with. It's called Jaeger Autonomous, and you understand why it's autonomous, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. This is your guru of geek, Marlo Anderson, coming to you from CES 2023.